Hi everyone, today is part two of Something I Love where I'm going to give you five reasons, five reasons, I always get the hand thing in the wrong place, five reasons why you should and shouldn't uh, make your own website and how I, what I really want to say. What I really want to say is going to be tomorrow. Uh, to, uh, yesterday I did the five reasons why you should make a website and those were pretty good reasons. And today I'm going to do the five why you shouldn't, okay? So, today, number one, the first reason why you should not make your own website is you don't do branding. It's, it's not what you do, no more than you do plumbing. So if you just said, you know, I want to plumb my own house, that's great. Uh, you might do it right, you might do it wrong. But if you have an inspector come in and look at your house, things have to be up to code. And it's the same with branding. There's lots of things that you know and don't know about branding. Sometimes, uh, for example, if you're taking a photograph, uh, there's certain things that you need to do when you take a photograph. There's certain things you need to wear. There's certain makeup that you need to wear and certain makeup you don't need to wear. And there's all kinds of things, little, little parts. You know, when you're making a movie, there's people who actually watch out for you know, whether someone's beard looks right or not. And there's people who look out for whether there's a hair in your clothes and stuff like that. There's things like that that you don't look out for that you need to look out for. So the text is really, really important. What you're writing, uh, the photography is really important. The branding, the consistency of the branding, all of that is important. And the problem is when you speak to people, most of those people are not going to tell you the truth. They're going to tell you, looks great, looks fantastic. And you're not going to get real feedback. And so, yeah, the reason why you shouldn't do it is you don't know branding. Okay. Second reason why you should not make your own website. It's questionable whether you even need a site. A lot of people don't understand uh, uh, bounce rates. They don't understand that... Um, there may not be very many people coming to your website. And I have, I don't know, maybe 10 websites that are out there. And I can tell you that a lot of them, in fact, I'm actually in the process of consolidating right now because I'm realizing it's throwing money away because people are not coming to websites. How many websites do you go to a day, honestly? You know, if, some, if you have somebody that you see on LinkedIn and you're like, I want to know more about them and you go out to their website, how long are you on their website for really? Seconds, if that. So for the most part, you're not going to randomly find them. And then also, if you do find them, it's really like site, site validation. You're not going to be on there for very long. So if you've got a limited budget or no budget, like where, where do you want to place this money? I would recommend you place it more into a city center. A city center would be Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. These are areas where everybody is congregated. People congregate in cities. Your website is a an island in the middle of nowhere and you got a real pretty house and you're asking all these people who live in the city to come out and hang out at your house. The majority of them do not want to, no matter how nice that house is, okay? Uh, the third reason is do you understand the purpose of, uh, what, a third reason why you shouldn't make your own website is do you even understand the purpose of your website? Chances are you do not, okay? If you do, most of you don't have a call to action on the first when you first come to the page. That's huge. Since we have already established that 85, 90% of the people have a bounce rate of about five, uh, three seconds, they are coming onto your site going, yep, and leaving, right? If you want them to do more than that, you need to create some sort of an interaction. Do you know about that? Uh, do you know how it will be found on SEO? Do you know what needs to be written for you to be found? If you want to pay to for click ads and stuff like that, that's fine. That's how Google makes their money. But how about putting that budget towards a good writer? And I'm not just saying that because my wife is a writer. Powerfully written words last. And that's how you're going to get found. It's not just about finding a good writer. Do you know a good writer that knows SEO? Or do you know SEO? Do you know the rules? Do you know how to be found? I was just talking to a friend of mine about this recently. So that's number reason number three is do you even understand the purpose of your website and do you know how to be found? I bet you don't. Next one. 
Rule number four about why you shouldn't make your own website. Your brand is precious, okay? If you have a shitty brand, guess what? That's how people know you. If you have a, a brand that is inconsistent, if you're wearing a color because you like it, and then tomorrow it's a different color and a different color, a different color. yeah, you're all over the place. I open the door to UPS because they're wearing brown and they're in a truck that's brown, and I'm like, I know who that is because that's a solid brand. If you watch a Walmart commercial, a Target commercial, a McDonald's commercial, you know who those, you know that before you even see the ad at the end, before you see the logo, you know that commercial. Target especially. I mean, you always know the vibe of it, the music, everything. It's well branded, okay? Do you understand that? I'm gonna say some of you do, but let's just be honest. Most of you don't, and you're too close, all right? So rule number four is, do you even understand your brand? It's precious and you're probably gonna balls it up, okay? And number five, there is a lot of things when it comes to making a website that needs to be right for you to be found. Uh, if you don't understand what H1 text is, if you don't understand about the type of photos that you take, uh, if you don't understand about tagging those photographs, about the keywords that are connected to those photographs, um, if you don't know about uh, what to write, where to write, how to write, if you don't know the power of meta tagging, and also if you don't know how detrimental meta tagging can be if it is not paired to what you've written on your website. That's most of the population. That's 80%, 90%, I don't, I don't have a figure for you, but a lot of people uh, do not know how detrimental the meta tagging is to their um, site. It's almost better if you put no meta tagging. If you want to do a check, uh, put in a keyword, go to ibppromoter.com and put in a keyword of how you think you're gonna get found and it'll show you where you rank. And I guarantee you, you're not on that page. And I will tell you that the person who is on that page, the number one person is still only ranked at about 20% out of 100 of the things that need to be done to be found on that because no one knows how to do it properly. Very few people know how to, use, to do the searching properly. Okay, so to go back through the five, number one, you don't do branding. So why the hell are you trying to brand a site? You don't know about photography, you don't know about text. You might, you might think you know, but you're too close. Second one, do you even need a site? Uh, I would argue probably not, and it, it's, it's a little bit more than an extended business card. I would definitely put some money into a solid business card. First impressions are really important. Um, and then I would put a lot more into social media than I would my, personally my website. Really, most people don't need a website. Most of you all need a landing page, and that's it. Uh, do you even understand the purpose of your site and how it will be found on SEO is number three. Uh, number four, your brand is precious. Don't blow it. Um, and a lot of you can easily blow it. And number four, do you know the power of the text? Do you know the power of all the code that's behind it? Um, most of you don't. And for that reason, those are reasons why you shouldn't make your own website. Okay, so that's all of that out of the way. Today, I'm going to do my stuff of love. And today's stuff of love is an interesting one. It is Perrier water. Do you drink Perrier water? I have mixed feelings about this because I feel bad because of the plastic. The plastic part, I really hope we figure out what to do about plastic. But Anyway, Perrier water is great. I used to drink too much beer, and now I barely drink beer. It's very, very rare if I, you know, I'll drink it if I go out and stuff. But this gives you the extra bit of, mm, it just makes you feel happy. And it's got that little extra sparkle. I buy these things by the crate load on Amazon, and I just love Perrier water. I drink this stuff every single day. And that is my stuff I love. It's right up there with, Rain-X, you should put Rain-X on your car windows. And if you don't, this thing is life-saving. That's the thing I forgot to leave out of my last um, message. This, this shit will save your life. You need to put this on your car windows. Do it and thank me later. A Perrier water. <laughs> this is so crazy. I am not getting paid for any of this, but it's good stuff, so you should have some. All right, that's it. That's five reasons why you shouldn't. If you haven't seen five reasons why you should, please go back 
And uh, I posted it yesterday in a whole bunch of places. It's on LinkedIn. It's on Facebook. It's it, YouTube. I think it's on YouTube too. Um, this one won't be because this is obviously a live feed. Uh, please go back and do look at the five reasons why you should. Who knows? It might be a good fit for you. That's the five reasons why you shouldn't. And then tomorrow, part three, I'm going to tell you what I really think. I'm going to keep it real. So I'll see you tomorrow.